All right, I, I'm posting all of these uh, facing in all directions um, so you can kind of plant yourself a, a, a picture in your mind of uh, how these stars are spinning. Now, Polaris is at the very bottom of the screen or right about in the middle of the screen uh, because I wanted to catch everything above. And you'll see it kind of dim out and, and come back in again. That's because we had a little bit of clouds off on uh, that northern horizon. Um, my my house is uh, pretty much situated where it's set in, it's facing um, east and um, and west. Um, and then, you know, the sides are north and south. Um, when I had my house built, I asked for it to be pretty much built, you know, pretty... Uh, straight with the the four directions and they did a pretty good job if you ask me I didn't realize how good of a job they do but uh, I'm standing in my backyard I can look directly at Polaris uh, yeah that's kind of between some trees that I've got there but um, this is why I uh, put it at the bottom of the screen but what I'd like to see is somebody from like Canada uh, northern part of Canada do a video of Polaris a time lapse uh, because it almost should be they should almost be having their camera almost pointed directly up um, if Polaris is where they say Polaris is at all right um, so this was north um, now I'm gonna uh, point my camera east and this I did last night um, real early in the morning I think uh, what was it one o'clock in the morning when I set my camera up um, and I let it stay out there uh, all night. I got up this morning. Uh, but last night we were fortunate because it, we didn't have a lot of dew. And my uh, my lens didn't fog up. That was the only thing I was worried about. Uh, but it didn't. Um, I can't name all these stars uh, or anything. Or you know, make out any kind of uh, constellation. Uh, but you know, somebody that's really more familiar with these uh, might be able to do that. Um, you know, be able to pinpoint these, but paint yourself a mental picture. These stars are are uh, going uh, straight up, but toward the south. So they're coming out of the north and moving southward. Now the the ones out of the north were moving. If you watch, they were moving right to left. So when you got your camera facing north all your stars will move right to left when you put your camera facing south which would be the next one after the east one here um, all the stars will come out of the the east and go west but they kind of rise up and then they set back down but they uh, They're, it's kind of hard to say. They're not really rising, I don't think. I think it's just our perception. Um, but if you watch these, now I, I started this. Uh, I did these. Uh, this one was for 50, 25 minutes. I did a 25-minute time lapse on it. Um, and you can't do a night sky time lapse uh, with the sky this blue because it would just, just be all bright. Um, and you'll see some planes flying by, flying through. Um, but as it got darker, of course, and I could go and use the nighttime, uh, night sky time lapse. And that's what I did. But as you watch these, you know, they, it, it, it is like all the stars are circling around the North Pole. So if all the stars circle around the North Pole and our sun is considered a star, well, what would it do? Um, you know, hey, if all these far off distant stars that are you know millions and some light years away they tell us are doing a big circle around Polaris well what would our star be doing um, wouldn't it be kind of doing the same thing just a question so you know questioning never hurts a thing and this is what you know the, the trolls you know they come in and mock us and insult us and everything but 
they don't look at the bigger picture that we're looking at and maybe they just can't get it through their their little brains um, but this is how I'm seeing it and that's why I did this video so you can kind of give yourself a mental picture of how these stars are moving across the sky um, now um, I did these uh, I think uh, this this month um, this wasn't all done the same night um, I, I don't kind of hard for me to uh, stay up all all night to do them um, so I kind of did them in in different days and I went back in my files and I pulled out the Polaris video um, you know from what was it eight months ago something like that um, and then these other ones are from this year of course and this is why too I put down the date so nobody didn't think I was trying to deceive them or you know fake them out with anything but what's really interesting is when I get to the um, facing west um, how Orion's belt moves now you won't get to see it completely because on some of these I zoomed in and I pulled away um, just so I can make you know get the stars a little more bright or the constellation a little more uh, visible um, so I had my reasons why I use my my zoom on on some and and not as much on the other ones um, so some of these are zoomed in again I'm not going to deceive you um, <laughs> that, that ain't my my uh, my goal is to deceive anybody my goal is to, is to let people watch my observations now what's funny here too is you see the tree branches uh, up on the top uh, corner and uh, I'm actually almost standing under a centennial light in my driveway now how I get these stars to come out so bright um, it just has to be the settings to my camera um, I must have it set just right um, but what's funny too is here a little bit in this in this one um, I come out later on in the evening just to check my camera make sure my screen ain't all fogging up and you know because it's a, it's almost like you waste your time doing them when they fog up um, but what I do is I come out and I shut that light off now watch what happens when I shut that light off okay uh, those branches you, you don't see them no more um, and you know to disturb some of the the clouds or the stars you know they'll, they'll get distorted a little bit in there sorry about my phone ringing um, that's uh, my business phone of course and uh, now, you, now you also start noticing these stars kind of start dimming out a little bit as they get off to the right of the screen um, that could be due to maybe a little moisture on my camera lens wasn't really quite sure on why but then it pops up again it could have been some thin clouds too that went over in Florida here we get some dewy skies sometimes I call them dewy skies because you can actually see the the fog that's in the air um, and you see it rise kind of like looks like it rises up from the horizon and sometimes I got a hole directly above me that it doesn't cover up for some reason but all around the edges um, you, you can't really see any stars so it's, it's pretty uh, we have some pretty amazing weather here in Florida um, either uh, you know you can be sweating your butt off or in the winter months you could be freezing your butt off but we we've, we've had a very warm winter this year we didn't have too many cold days at all um, now this one this video here was a 50 minute uh, time lapse I I was doing a sunset um, mode of the time lapse um, and I've got my camera pointed a little bit higher off the horizon and that is Venus that you see flashing and when we go into this next part again you know when the sky is blue you have to do a uh, a sun time lapse otherwise it just it's just so bright that it, it just kills your uh, night sky time lapse but watch it as the this uh, light recedes from our eyes or from our horizon it recedes it doesn't go over any curvature it's just receding from us 
Now, now I did do a uh, a little zoom. I, I added a little zoom to this, um, and you can see how these stars just uh, you know they really do twinkle when you do time lapses on them more than they do than than if you stand out there. But that's probably because our eyes aren't picking up that twinkling as much as the camera picks it up. Um, of course, the camera's got a lot better light sensors in it. Um, so this could be the reason why they, they twinkle on and off like they do. Um, but again, uh, I, I want to bring up if anybody out there um, lives in northern Canada and you're not far from so-called North Pole, you if you could do a video, um, a time lapse of it, um, and let me know. I mean, notify me somehow. Leave a comment. I'd I'd love to check out a time lapse um, from Canada. You know, anybody that's really close to the so-called North Pole, I'd really, really love to see that. Um, now, too, at the top of the screen, you just notice how uh, uh, the Pleiades just came down through there. Um, and then the, the last part here, I, I did another 2.5 hours. Um, and uh, I, I zoom in a little bit more on this area. I use the zoom. And uh, I wanted to just kind of give you a little different perspective of how these things are always moving. You know, when I got my camera pointed to the, to the west, everything comes uh, from the south and it goes northward. And it's the opposite when I got my camera facing towards the east. And when I got my camera facing towards the west, the stars seem to rise and then fall. But when you look at this, you'll see uh, uh, part of Orion's belt in it. And you, you see how it's moved coming out of the south. And, and it starts moving northward. So... Paint that picture in your mind and think about how the stars in our sky are working around that uh, pole star that we call the pole star. We call it the uh, Polaris, the northern star, the uh, north pole star. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of hard to picture it, but if we had somebody from Canada give us this uh, this time lapse or this night sky time lapse of uh, Polaris, it would really, really help us out a lot um, on figuring how these stars are going around. Because if you're up that close, you should almost do see it do a 180. Thanks for watching. Hope you appreciate my video.